So here we have the Mini Hatchback 5 door. It's the 1.5 petrol Cooper on a 67 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see, as I said, it's a 5 door car. We've got black alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have plenty of boot space along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. Now this tray, if we lift that, it folds and stores away to increase the boot space further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car now and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of the car, you can see that it's in lovely condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. You get half leather seats, which are uh, part of the chili pack that this car has got. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. On the left hand side, we've got cruise control with speed limiter. And on the right hand side, we have stereo controls and voice activation for the phone. Hit that button, ask it to dial anyone in your contacts list and it will do that for you without you having to take your phone from your bag or pocket. That is a course once you paired the phone and that is done on the central screen just here. So uh, if you were to circle round to telephone and select that, you can then uh, connect a new device from there. Now the menus and everything I'm doing at the moment by way of controlling them, it's all operated using this system down here. So turning this will take you through the various option screens. You can push it down to select something when you wish to. This also moves up, down, left and right as well uh, for various different menus that you might be in, which I'll show you now. So uh, at the moment, uh, if we highlight radio, that's the first thing I'll show you. You can see that you've got FM, AM, and DAB digital radio. Now there's a little arrow here, if I was to jog that dial over to the right, I'll then access that menu. If I jog it back to the left, we're back to that one. And if we went back to the left again, we'll go back to the main menu. Uh, we've also got satellite navigation on this car. Again, if I push the button down to select satellite navigation, uh, I'll show you the map view. As you can see, this has got a media pack XL, so it has this extra wide screen, which is really clear and easy to use. If you want to uh, go to a particular destination, you need to access this menu to the left. That's where you jog that dial over to the left to access that menu and twist the lever around and you can go to any one of these pieces of information. There's a full video showing how that works on our website and our Facebook page. It's well worth checking that out. And the last thing I want to show you on this screen is multimedia. So you've got your radio, FM, AM and DAB, uh, but there's a few other ways that you can listen to music on this car. Uh, you can see them there. So you've got USB input, uh, you can also stream music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio. So once you connect up your phone, not only can you make and receive phone calls, but you can listen to your music as well. And you've got auxiliary auxiliary, sorry, input on top of that. So working our way down, we've got the dual zone climate control. You can adjust the temperature independently on the passenger and driver sides of the car. Fan speed is adjustable in the middle here. Uh, when you're happy that you've got the temperature where you want it, fan speed where you want it, uh, this button will turn the air conditioning on and back off again or you can hit auto and the car will take control of the fan speed itself to maintain those temperatures for you. To override that, simply readjust the fan speed or press the auto button to turn it back off again. Uh, below that, we've got a few buttons. This one at the end will turn off the stop and start. So this car's designed to cut out in traffic to save you fuel uh, when you're stationary. If you want to turn that system off, just do that or turn it back on again. You can turn off the traction control with this button. And this button starts and stops the engine. So it's keyless start. The key just needs to be inside the car so it can be in your pocket or bag. That button will start the car and will stop the car as well. Underneath that, you've got the USB and auxiliary input I mentioned and a 12 volt charging socket underneath this cap. We then have a six speed manual gearbox. And finally, this ring around the gear lever. It says sport and green there and there's a dot in the middle. We're in the middle position at the moment, which is uh, mid mode so normal driving mode in this car we can select sport mode we can put it back in mid mode or we can select green mode it'll always spring back to this position as you can see now what the, what will happen ultimately first of all if I select sport for example the first thing that will happen is it will tell us on here that we're in sport mode and it says maximum go-kart feel. Uh, it will make the accelerator pedal more sensitive to what you do and the steering slightly firmer to give it that kind of uh, go-kart type feeling that it mentioned. Mid mode is just your standard kind of driving. It will make the accelerator slightly less responsive, the steering uh, normal in terms of its firmness. And green mode does the exact opposite to sport mode. Uh, it makes the whole car that bit more docile basically. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.